Have you ever had this problem when you animate your object and then open up the curve editor? You can open it up from here on the menu or you can right click and click on curve editor. And you see there's no animated keyframe for the movement here. And even you cannot zoom into the curve editor and it looks like it's kinda disabled. So today I wanna show you how to fix these problems in 3ds Max. Alright, first let's fix the zoom problem. You can open up the start and search mouse and bring up the mouse settings and you need to disable this function. Let's turn it off and now you can see I can zoom in and zoom out. You can also hold Control, Alt and middle mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. And if I zoom out way back, I can finally see the missing keyframe here. And it was not missing, it was just a little too far because as you can see, our box is placed in long distances. So you need to keep that in mind when you're animating your objects. Some extra information I've forgot to mention. When you disable that function in the settings, for example here, if I click on 3ds Max and scroll here, you can see the scroll is disabled and unless I click here, I can scroll again. So if you enable it again, You can see, even if I click on the 3ds Max here, for example, or on my second monitor, I can still be able to scroll the screen by just hovering the mouse over it. Another extra tip for working with the curve editor, let's give you an example. Let's move our objects here. I will go some frames forward and rotate them as well all right as you can see the keyframe for the transform is labeled with red and the keyframe for the rotation is labeled with green so let's see what we got okay let's close it up deselect everything and open up the curve editor you can see there's no curve it's shown here because we didn't select anything so I select the box, so the curve will be shown here. As you can see, I cannot zoom in, so I hold Ctrl and Alt and zoom out. If I click on this object, the curves of the selected object will appear here. If I click both of them, you can see both of them are shown here, the box and the teapot. If I click somewhere else, like for example here, the position is shown, but it's not clickable. So you have to click on individual items here. Or you can also hold shift and select multiple items. Or let's say shift and grab all of them. But the easiest way is to click on the object and they will be shown here. And you can change the type, the values, and so on and so forth. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have further question, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video and I will see you in the next one.